Hello everybody, in this short video I'm going to show you how to export your video as an mp4 in DaVinci Resolve 18. The process is pretty simple so let's just get started. So I just create a new project here and the first thing I'm going to do is just import some stock footage that I got. Now when you come and import your clip you might get this pop up saying change project frame rate. You want to click on change. If you click on don't change I'm pretty sure it'll make your video clip only 24 fps. Now I'll come down and click this edit section down here the third one over and then I'll drag my video onto my timeline. Alright, so once you're done editing your video and you're ready to export it, what you need to do is you need to come all the way down to the bottom here and then come all the way down to the right and click on this little rocket ship icon. Once you click on that, it's going to take you to your render settings and you want to click on a custom export here at the top. Next, you want to go ahead and give your file a name and give it a export location on your computer. So I just named this video test and I'm going to export it to my desktop. Next, you want to make sure that single clip and export video are selected. And then at this format section, we're going to change this to MP4. For codec, I'll just leave this as H.264. And then down here, you want to make sure you set your resolution to what you want. I'm going to leave my video at 1080p and a little under 60 FPS. Just one quick disclaimer, if it has your frame rate set at 24 FPS and it gives you the option to change it to 30 FPS, I wouldn't do that. I've done that in the past and it ends up making your video look very choppy and weird. Alright, so now down to quality, you want to come and click on this restrict to option. And you want to make the kilobytes per second anywhere between 60,000 to 100,000 kilobytes a second. I tend to leave mine at around 80,000 kilobytes a second. And then for encoding profile, I'm fine just leaving it at auto. Alright, so now what we'll do is we'll add our video to the render queue down here. And then we'll come over to the right and click on render all. And there we go, my video is now rendering. When it's done rendering, you'll find that mp4 file at wherever you set the location at. 